To turn on the unit with the KDT touchpad display, you will press and hold the bottom left button until the red LED turns off. You should hear a beep sound which confirms that the controller is getting power. The units will come factory set at 55 degrees and they are programmed to display the temperature that the bottle probe is sensing. On the left side of the display screen, you will see two symbols. The blue snowflake symbol indicates the compressor is receiving power. The yellow fan symbol indicates the fans are receiving power. To unlock the display, you will press and hold any button for one second then release. You should see a white LED appear in the top left corner of the button being pressed and a beep will sound. The display must be unlocked before any button functions are available. You will have several seconds to navigate the controller. If the keypad is not responding, then you may have to go through the unlock process again. The set button will get you into and out of any of the different parameters. The up and down arrows will navigate through the different parameters that are in that menu. To verify or change the set point, you will need to unlock your keypad, then press and release the set button. Set will be displayed. Press and release the set button again, and the temperature shown is what the unit is currently set to. The F symbol will flash, indicating that the set point is ready to be changed. If you want to raise or lower the set point, then use the up or down arrows to the desired temperature and then press set to lock in that change. To navigate through the different folders on the main control display, you will need to unlock the keypad, then press the set button. Use the up and down arrows to scroll through the ALR, PB1, or PB2 folders. At each folder, you will need to press and release the set button to see the parameters of that folder. The ALR is the alarm folder. If the alarm icon is displaying, you will find the code for the alarm in this folder. The PB1 is the bottle probe temperature, and the PB2 is the evaporator coil temperature, which we may use for troubleshooting purposes. Pressing the escape button returns you to the previous menu. To navigate through the user menu, you will need to unlock the keypad, then press and hold the set button for 3 to 5 seconds until the display changes and FDC will appear. FDC is for humidity enhancement. To access this folder with FDC on the display, press the set button and release it. The factory setting is set to 1. Before making any changes to this parameter, it would be best to know what the humidity level is in your cellar. Increasing the setting will have the evaporator fan run after the unit has stopped cooling to allow the fan to blow some of the moisture on the coil to try to enhance the humidity in the cellar. If needed, you will want to raise the setting by increments of 5, but no more than 15 minutes and you should wait a minimum of three days before making any other changes. This setting is only beneficial if there is still moisture on the coil. FOF is for the evaporator fan off. It is factory set at 15 and it is not recommended to change it. Using the FDC setting will accomplish having the fan run after the cooling cycle if needed. FON is for the evaporator fan on. This is factory set at zero. Using the FDC setting will accomplish the same result. CA1 is for the bottle probe calibration. You may use this parameter to calibrate the temperature difference in the probe if you discover there is a discrepancy in the probe temperature with another thermometer. To access this folder with CA1 on the display, Press the set button and release it. The factory setting should be zero. For example, if the bottle probe temperature is displaying 58 degrees, 
but the known temperature is 55 degrees, then you would use the down arrow to negative 3 to match the known temperature. DOA is a setting that only applies to our ceiling mount and quantum units. These are the only units that use a condensate pump or float switch that would trigger an alarm. It is factory set at 2, which means if there is an issue with the condensate pump, the unit will show the alarm icon on the display. The unit will continue to run, which will allow the unit to keep cooling your cellar, but since there is an issue with the pump, the water in the drain pan could overflow into the cellar. If you would rather have the unit turn off and display the alarm icon, then you will need to press and release the set button with DOA on the display, then use the up and down arrow to display 5 and press set. Having that parameter set to anything other than 2 or 5 will prevent the unit from operating properly. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding the many functions of your KDT controller. Thank you for watching.